1 Samuel Chapter 4 And the word of Samuel came to all Israel. And Israel went forth against the Philistines in battle, and they encamped near Ebenezer, and the Philistines encamped in Ephek. And the Philistines arrayed themselves against Israel, and when the battle spread, Israel was struck down before the Philistines. And they slew about four thousand men of the array in the field. And when the people came to the camp, the elders of Israel said, Why has Jehovah struck us down today before the Philistines? Let us take for ourselves the ark of the covenant of Jehovah from Shiloh that it may come into our midst, and thus save us from the hand of our enemies. So the people sent men to Shiloh, and they took up from there the ark of the covenant of Jehovah of hosts who is enthroned between the cherubim. And the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were there with the ark of the covenant of God. And when the ark of the covenant of Jehovah came into the camp, all Israel shouted with a great shout, and the earth resounded. And the Philistines heard the sound of the shout and said, What does the sound of this great shout in the camp of the Hebrews mean? Then they found out that the ark of Jehovah had come into their camp. And the Philistines were afraid, for they said, God has come into their camp. And they said, Woe to us! For there has never been such a thing as this before. Woe to us! Who will deliver us from the hand of these mighty gods? These are the gods that struck the Egyptians with every kind of plague in the wilderness. Be strong and be men, O Philistines, lest you become servants to the Hebrews as they have been servants to you. Be men then and fight. And the Philistines fought, and they struck Israel, and every man fled to his tent. And there was a very great slaughter, for thirty thousand foot soldiers of Israel fell. And the ark of God was taken, and the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, died. And a man of Benjamin ran from the array and came to Shiloh on the same day, with his clothes torn and earth upon his head. And when he came, there was Eli, sitting on his seat by the roadside watching, for his heart trembled for the ark of God. And when the man came to tell the news to the city, the whole city cried out. And when Eli heard the sound of the cry, he said, What does this sound of commotion mean? And the man hurried and came and told Eli. Now Eli was ninety-eight years old, and his eyes were set, and he could not see. And the man said to Eli, I am he who has come from the array, and I fled from the array today. And he said, How did the matter go, my son? And he who brought the news answered and said, Israel fled before the Philistines, and there was a great slaughter among the people, and even your two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, are dead, and the ark of God has been taken. And when he mentioned the ark of God, Eli fell from off his seat backward by the side of the gate. And he broke his neck and died, for he was an old man and heavy. And he had judged Israel forty years. And his daughter-in-law, the wife of Phinehas, was pregnant, about to deliver, and when she heard the report that the ark of God had been taken and that her father-in-law and her husband had died, she bowed down and gave birth, for her pains came upon her. And around the time that she died, the women who stood around her said, Do not fear, for you have borne a son. But she did not answer or pay attention. And she named the child Ichabod, meaning, The glory has departed from Israel, because the ark of God had been taken and because of her father-in-law and her husband. And she said, The glory has departed from Israel, for the ark of God has been taken. 1 Samuel Chapter 5 When the Philistines took the ark of God, they brought it from Ebenezer to Ashdod. And the Philistines took the ark of God and brought it into the house of Dagon, and they set it next to Dagon. And when the Ashdodites arose early the next day, there was Dagon, fallen on his face to the ground, before the ark of Jehovah. And they took Dagon and put him back in his place. And when they arose early in the morning of the next day, there was Dagon, fallen on his face to the ground, before the ark of Jehovah. 
And Dagon's head and the palms of his hands were cut off, lying on the threshold, only Dagon's trunk was left to him. Because of this, neither the priests of Dagon nor any who enter the house of Dagon tread upon Dagon's threshold in Ashdod to this day. But the hand of Jehovah was heavy upon the Ashdodites, and he devastated them and struck them with tumors, even Ashdod and its borders. And when the men of Ashdod saw that it was so, they said, The ark of the God of Israel cannot stay with us, for his hand is hard on us and on Dagon our God. Therefore they sent for and gathered all the lords of the Philistines to themselves, and they said, What shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel? And they said, Let the ark of the God of Israel be brought around to Gath. And they brought the ark of the God of Israel there. Then after they brought it there, the hand of Jehovah was against the city, causing a very great panic. And he struck the men of the city, from small to great, and they broke out with tumors. Then they sent the ark of God to Ekron. But when the ark of God came to Ekron, the Ekronites cried out, saying, They have brought the ark of the God of Israel around to us to kill us and our people. And they sent for and gathered all the princes of the Philistines, and they said, Send away the ark of the God of Israel, and let it return to its place, so that it does not kill us and our people. For the panic of death was throughout the whole city. The hand of God was very heavy there. And the men who did not die were stricken with tumors. And the cry of the city went up to heaven. 1 Samuel Chapter 6 Now the ark of Jehovah was in the country of the Philistines seven months. And the Philistines called for the priests and the diviners and said, what shall we do with the ark of Jehovah? Make known to us how we should send it forth to its place. And they said, If you send away the ark of the God of Israel, do not send it away empty, but be sure to return him a trespass offering. Then you will be healed, and it will be made known to you why his hand has not turned away from you. And they said, What is the trespass offering that we should return to him? And they said, five golden tumors and five golden mice, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines, for one plague was upon you all and upon your lords. Therefore you shall make images of your tumors and images of your mice that devastate the land, and you shall give glory to the God of Israel, perhaps he will lighten his hand on you and your gods and your land. Why then should you harden your hearts as the Egyptians and Pharaoh hardened their hearts? When he had dealt severely with them, did they not let the people go, and they went. So now take and prepare a new cart and two milch cows on which the yoke has never come, and tie the cows to the cart, and bring their calves home, away from them. And take the ark of Jehovah and put it on the cart, and in a box by the side of it, place the articles of gold which you are returning to him as a trespass offering, and send it away that it may go. Then watch, if it goes up toward its own border at Beth Shemesh, it is he who has done us this great harm. But if it does not, we will know that it was not his hand that struck us, it happened to us by chance. And the men did so and took two milch cows and tied them to the cart and shut up their calves at home. And they put the ark of Jehovah on the cart with the box and the gold mice and the images of their tumors. And the cows went straight in the way toward Beth Shemesh, they went on one road, lowing as they went, and they did not turn to the right or to the left. And the lords of the Philistines went after them as far as the border of Beth Shemesh. Now the people of Beth Shemesh were reaping their wheat harvest in the valley. And when they lifted up their eyes and saw the ark, they rejoiced to see it. And the cart came into the field of Joshua the Bethshemshite and stood still there. And there was a great stone there. And they split up the wood of the cart and offered up the cows as a burnt offering to Jehovah. Then the Levites took down the ark of Jehovah and the box that was with it, in which were the articles of gold, and they placed them on the great stone. 
And the men of Beth Shemesh offered up burnt offerings and sacrificed sacrifices that day to Jehovah. And when the five lords of the Philistines saw this, they returned to Ekron that day. And these are the gold tumors that the Philistines returned to Jehovah as a trespass offering, for Ashdod, one, for Gaza, one, for Ashkelon, one, for Gath, one, for Ekron, one. And the gold mice, according to the number of all the cities of the Philistines that belonged to the five lords, both of fortified cities and country villages, as far as the great stone on which they rested the Ark of Jehovah, which is there to this day, in the field of Joshua the Beth Shemeshite. And he struck the men of Beth, Shemesh, because they looked into the Ark of Jehovah, and he struck seventy men among the people. And the people mourned because Jehovah struck the people with a great slaughter. And the men of Beth Shemesh said, Who can stand before Jehovah, this holy God? And to whom shall he go up from us? And they sent messengers to the inhabitants of Kiriath Jerim, saying, The Philistines have returned the ark of Jehovah, come down and take it up to you. <laughs>